During the 1950s, my dad illustrated articles for the Ford Times Magazine and the Lincoln Mercury Times Magazine, same car company. It was a magazine that you were automatically subscribed to if you bought one of those cars. And uh, during, those time, during those years, he worked with William Saroyan. But this story here, Ghost Road to Bakersfield, is one of those stories. And uh, so he traveled with my mom and my two older brothers who were little boys. I wasn't born yet. And the Ghost Road to Bakersfield, today we know that as the grapevine with eight lanes. But it was just this two-lane little, little sort of way off the beaten path road uh, going through the Tehachapi Mountains. And you can see several of his illustrations there. Uh, what he would do is he would, he would travel the area. He would just make a bunch of paintings. He would send them all to Ford Motors. They would pick the ones they like, and they would, they would buy the ones they liked and send the rest back. So the ones that we have in our collection, that, or that some other collectors have, are actually the ones they didn't use. Um, the ones that they used, they bought for the equivalent in today's money of about $3,000 a piece. So he would do a project, sell three to seven watercolors at $3,000 a piece. It was, it was pretty lucrative. That, that's, that's adjusted for today's dollars. Um, so Ghost Road to Bakersfield. Then what we have here are my dad's journals. This is an important part of the collection here at the Madden Library. My dad kept journals for about 60 years give or take 50 to 60 years and so uh, we, sh we have several examples of that here um, and we even have one open page um, and typically he did short entries he would do like just a paragraph for one day um, and he would talk about thoughts that he had about art he would talk about a specific painting that he was working on so that's one thing we did in the exhibition was to correlate some of the paintings to some of the journal entries and just sort of, um, you know, general philosophical things. He didn't put all this detail about his personal life or anything. Um, so they're, they're, they're kind of valuable historically and also in terms of seeing the evolution of his thought about art. Here's an early picture of Dad in 1948 um, at his drafting table. His day job was doing commercial illustration work. So that's probably what he's doing in that black and white photograph. And then this thing over here that says pick um, was probably done, put together by his co-workers um, when he was, he actually worked at a photo engraving company. He, do, he would do the illustrations and the other people made the plates and did the printing and, and all that sort of thing. So he was, he was involved in that kind of business for, for a few decades.